Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming a minimalist challenge or minimalist game. Um, so that means you get rid of one item on day one for 30 days. So by 30, um, by the time you get to day 30, you are decluttering 30 items that day. So in total, it's 465 items, which is crazy to think because I've been decluttering for over a year and a half. And um, sometimes I think like there's nothing left to declutter, even though I know there is, because the more I declutter, the more I realize how little of the stuff that I own I actually use. I think one of the things that made me really start to want to be more minimal is understanding the difference between organizing and decluttering. So as a kid, like I would love to organize, but I never really got rid of much. I realized like it's more about decluttering and not so much about just organizing what you have. I realized like having a really clean, tidy space isn't about organization. It's about owning things that you love and use and you know, really add value, which is like really cliche, but um, it's so true. Like now that I've been like <laughs> let go of like over 450 items, all of the things I love stand out so much more. Day number one, just gonna be getting rid of this gorgeous necklace. I've always loved it, but I've never worn it. So that's day, so one. day number two, just sticking to the trend of jewelry. I'm gonna be um, decluttering these two um, like bracelets or anklets. For day three, I have three boxes. So day four is kind of random. I decided to declutter these because I've always just kind of held them around just in case I want to use them in the future. But it's more of like a guilt thing for me. I feel like I'm never going to use them and I know I won't. So I can let go of these, especially because they're huge. Gives me a reason to want to declutter them as well as these breath mints. Kind of just have them sitting around and I never use them. So that's day four. So day five, we've got four perfumes and one mini hairspray. Never use them. So here I have 30 items for days six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, totally random things, but I'm really proud of this. So let's see how we go for day 10. Okay, so this big pile is 91 items for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So this basically consisted of a ton of papers, sentimental items, kind of like personal care items that I don't really use. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to be like recycling, shredding, or donating. Okay, so day 17, I've got some clothes I'm selling um, and then just some random items, some sentimental. Um, this my boyfriend's mom gave to me, but I've never used it, so I'm gonna give it to my mom. This I actually got in Peru on a mission trip. This I got in Turkey. Okay, so for day 18, um, let's start over here. So this is my cause box. I actually made a video about this. Um, everything was amazing, but I am gonna be decluttering um this beautiful crossbody that came in here um it's really nice from pixie mood um vegan leather everything like that um it just didn't turn out how i wanted it was a little bit too big for me so i already know i'm not going to be using that um an empty box that i used for a long time to store random things that i've already <laughs> decluttered these shoes are a tough one for me i basically bought these um, almost like an impulse buy, but, um, those, I just, I love the color, but I never wear them, so I was finally able to just list them on my Poshmark. Well, this was supposed to be for bras, but it just doesn't really work well for me. Of course, we all have random socks that <laughs> get lost in the wash, um, so I'm not even gonna wait around any longer to see if I can ever find those again. Cute little mason jar. This is empty and it drives me crazy every time it falls out of the little thing. Um, this was actually also in my spring cause box video. Um, this is just the Boost Serum for like your eyelashes. I'm keeping mascara because I love mascara, but this one I feel like I'm definitely not gonna get as much use out of. And um, I feel like it was contributing to like my eyes burning after a long time. That was at work though, so I have no idea if this caused it, but I just don't feel like I'm going to actually get a lot of use out of that. This little box, oh my gosh, I'm just a sucker for like, you guys can already tell, like my favorite colors, like pinky, purple, lavender. I love this box. I always used to keep jewelry in it. I think it's super cute. It has the cutest little top. 
but I have no use for it anymore since I pretty much got rid of like most of my jewelry. Um, and then we just have some like bras that I think I'm going to try to replace like these styles. I love the styles of all these, but they're too small for me. And then this is actually sleeves from like a tube top. Um, I loved the top and then I put it on and it just wasn't my style anymore. So I cut the sleeves off and I think it's going to work for this summer. So day 18, that was a long one. So here we have 39 items for days 19 and 20. Pretty boring, but essentially this is what I gathered from, you know, the little spot, like console in between, like in your car, <laughs> right next to the driver's seat. I pretty much pulled everything out of there and it was just a bunch of junk. So I've got like receipts, bank statements, literally random snacks. I'm really glad to start like cleaning out my car and looking for more places to declutter. Okay, so this is my 66 items for days 21, 22, and 23. As you guys can see, I'm not very good at consistency, but somehow I'm still making the numbers work. So as usual, I have a lot of random things. Um, this is a dress that I just listed on Poshmark. I realized I got a different one that I liked better. Um, this was actually a gift, but I'm going to be giving it to my sister for her birthday. This is a tank top my sister gave me to sell, but I feel like it's not worth my time. So I'm going to be donating that tank top. My mom gave me this easy button, which I honestly, in the moment, it was such a sentimental thing. I loved it. Um, but I don't use it anymore. This is a little pillow that I've loved having in my room for a while from my uncle, but I don't need it anymore. Um, I've decluttered a little, these little pouches that you put in your like underwear drawer and stuff like that. There's like two little makeup palettes that I've had for a while that I really don't use. I'm not very versatile with my makeup. Um, a lot of cheer bows from like high school. I think, I actually think these are all from college and just like, I didn't even realize how many medals I have from competitions that pretty much don't mean anything to me and I don't want to put them on display so I don't see a purpose in keeping them and then lots of jewelry which I knew was going to be kind of the focus of my um, minimalism challenge but there's just so much and I don't even wear jewelry that much most of these are sentimental which is why I've had a hard time getting rid of these for so long um, most of these like have been given to me this bracelet was I think for my mom this one, I'm going to be giving like most of these back to my mom or seeing if I can donate them to my church. This bracelet my cousins got for me in Hawaii. This bracelet I got when I was in Italy. This is a choker from my cousin, some earrings from my other cousin. Um, just lots of little things. My sister got me this keychain a long time ago. Um, tons of medals, like duplicates. So days 24 and 25, pretty easy. I just have 49 items basically of mostly old photos and then like some old birthday cards that aren't too important to me so mostly just paper so my 81 items for days 26 27 and 28 i've got two things over here that um i'm gonna be either donating or selling so, um these two deodorants i've been trying to like use stuff up lately but these two i just don't really like them that's an old poster in there um, this like workout bar that I've had for years that I like never use. Um, so two more days left. So day 29, we're almost done. I've got seven gift cards I'm going to be giving to my sister. Lots of hair oils that I've been holding on to trying to tell myself that I'm going to use through them. But these are basically all of the ones that are my least favorite. So that's why I don't use through them. Some like old um, like supplements and stuff like that. Um, empty lotion another deodorant that is not my favorite so I'm not going to even try to use through it and then some bras that I don't like how they fit me um and this basket I'm going to be giving back to my mom if she wants it so that's day 29. All right you guys we made it to day 30 so I finally decluttered my little sewing collection. I actually did keep a couple which I'm really proud so of. So literally all I'm keeping is a bunch of needles and then like some very neutral colors because all of these colors I mean, I don't even own clothes for those colors, so kind of doesn't make sense for me to own them. And then I also have like a couple perfumes. I have a lot of samples. Um, I threw a ton out a long time ago, but I kept a few that I liked. So I finally used up this one. Um, and then there we go. So I'll show you the final product. Okay, this is everything that I have decluttered from the past 30 days. <laughs> Um, so I'm really proud of this. Um, 
I knew that this pile was going to be huge, but I feel like looking at it now, I mean, my mom saw it and she was like, where did all of this stuff come from? Um, so as you can see, like most of my days were like paper. So there's a big pile of like paper and photos. Um, majority of like this space, I guess, is taken up by clothes. A lot of these things were just like duplicates. Um, some of this stuff was hard to get rid of, like a lot of sentimental things, but like a lot of these clothes I'm going to be selling on Poshmark. Um, photos, I heard that you can't recycle them, so I guess those are just going to have to go in the trash. The shoes I'm going to sell, I think the deodorant, everything that's going to have to be trash. Um, a lot of this is trash, some I can donate to like my church. Um... But other than that, I'm super proud of how this turned out. I would definitely encourage all of you to try this. I've been decluttering for over a year and a half. And I thought this would be like a perfect kind of boost. Because um, I've been very slowly decluttering. Um, and I've never done something so big, so drastic, like all at once. I've really enjoyed doing this challenge. Um, obviously, in the beginning, it was super easy. I thought most of this was just going to be like jewelry. But I love doing this challenge because I really doubted myself many days thinking that I might not be able to complete it. To go through little piles and little areas of my room that I usually just overlook. It was really exciting to do. I definitely recommend you guys try it. I mean, even if you've been decluttering for a year, two years, three years, see how far you can get. Um, you'll really surprise yourself. It's definitely reinforced for me like a lot of lessons that I've been trying to practice, like don't keep things for your fantasy self. I'm trying to kind of take like the smallest sample size and use through that. That way I can kind of encourage myself to like actually use through things as opposed to just like holding on to them in case someday I might want to use them. So I've been trying to consciously do that. I love getting rid of things that you don't like and don't love and don't use because it really makes the things that you do love stand out. Like you only want to use like your favorite lotions and your favorite perfumes. Like I don't want to hold on to lotion that I don't like the smell of just to use through it. Said, like, like my decluttering process has really been going on for like over a year and a half now and it's a slow process. So I feel like I tend to declutter and then consolidate. Like if I get rid of like 10 shirts or something and then the drawer is half empty, I'll put them in a smaller drawer somewhere else in my room. So it definitely takes up a lot less space, a lot less like visual clutter, I guess, because challenge also make me think about what is functional for my life. Another thing that I've started doing um, because of this challenge was kind of grouping up like all my sentimental items. So I noticed that there were a lot of things kind of scattered around my room, almost as decor. So what I've been doing is kind of finding like all the little things that I've been keeping only for sentimental reasons and grouping those all into one box. But I've been able to make room in this giant box for like everything else around my room that I'm only keeping for sentimental reasons. Getting rid of sentimental items um, has showed me how much I've been holding on to that doesn't serve a purpose or like have a function. The reasons I doubted myself doing this was because I live at home with my parents, so I wasn't gonna declutter like my entire house. It was really just gonna be my room. I did like kind of venture to my car and take some papers out of there, but majority of this stuff came from my room. But like I said, you surprise yourself and it's so satisfying. I can't wait to like get rid of all of this stuff and finally give it like a proper home. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend you guys try this. Um, this is my Everlane pajama shirt. I did a review of the gray pewter color one. Go check out my other video of the Everlane review for the pajamas. Um, and then also my cause box video, I'm wearing these as well in the pewter color. So obviously this is just like my go-to outfit i feel like i wear it so much now um it's so soft it like i've washed the gray one before and it still looks amazing even after the wash and i don't do anything crazy to it because it's washable silk so go check out my other videos if you guys like this one um like the video subscribe for very similar content um i really want to do like a room tour after i get rid of all of this stuff that i've been decluttering obviously my room is still a work in progress I've got a lot of things I need to sell, but I think, I think I'm going to make a video of my room post minimalist game, minimalist challenge, um, kind of like as a before and after for myself. Um, so yeah, have a good day guys. Um, see you in the next one.